a national park, we should have a public transit system that reflects the values of a national park. That clearly pointed to a hybrid solution or something that was certainly an environmentally uh, responsible one. Parking is always a challenge of Banff, so we get them on public transit. That's what we want to do, because we've got to move a lot of people around here. Sometimes we have between three and four million visitors a year. Uh, hybrid technology that saves on emissions. There's also bicycle racks on the buses, take their skis on board, and in building the lead transit facility. It's just part of what we're about. We've seen a 43% increase in ridership, which is very significant. Part of the reason we've gotten such great numbers is our partnerships with these major hotels. By leaving their vehicle at the hotel, we can utilize that parking and uh, get people on the buses to come downtown and, uh, and enjoy their stay in, in the town of Banff. Yes, we're a business partner with the town of Banff and we provide the transit system complimentary to all of our staff and guests of the Rimrock. All the guest has to do is show their room key to the driver and it's complimentary transit throughout Banff. They're very ecstatic about, <laughs> about that. The buses have messaging inside which uh, makes visitors realise that they're in a national park, the importance of the place and preserving it. We were able to wrap the buses with larger than life wildlife. Each bus is sponsored by one company. So one company's logo is on the outside of the bus. Then on the inside, you come in contact with a story, a story of the actual animal that's on the outside. All of the pictures are from the Canadian Rockies. So we've got uh, mountain goat in summer, elk in fall, uh, wolves in winter, and grizzly bears in spring. We train our drivers not only in safety and mountain travel, but also how to interpret the landscapes for the folks. Another thing that we've uh, implemented is the uh, next bus system. These signs display uh, down to the minute how long until the next bus arrives. So you also have the ability to access next bus through the web. We think it has been very, very successful. I think uh, certainly uh, the indicator of our ridership increasing so much, but I also think one of the other factors that we have that we're very proud of is the return that we get from Fairbox and from partners. Only 33% of our public transit system is publicly funded. The other thing, of course, is the operating cost when it comes to fuel. It has proven to be very successful.